Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Much Bring you guys another video. In today's video, we are covering my brother's motorcycle. He's had this for, how long have you had this? He's had it for a year. This is the Kawasaki Z650. So this is a very nice bike. He's done some things to it. He's added these on it, which is very, very good. Cause if you guys can look on this side, he actually dropped it and uh, this actually protected the bike. So if he didn't have this, all this would be scraped up and whatnot. So very important that he added these. Uh, what else? Did, come, come over here real quick. He also added this onto his rims as well. These little stickers, which I think looks sexy. It makes the bike a lot better. What else did you add to it? Uh, change these out. These are new. Uh, so these look nice like that. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh, and his RAM mount for his phone and stuff like that. And then of course he added these to protect his, uh, his gas tank. But guys, with that being said, we're changing the exhaust on this. So let's get some before and after sounds of it first. Uh, we'll do here and then we'll do ride bys. Oh, yeah, I added the trickle charger. Huh? Trinkle charger? Trinkle charger. Yeah, right here for the winner. He also added a trinkle charger on it, which is right here for the winter. What does the trinkle charger do? So what it does is um, while in the during the winter when you're not riding for long periods of time, you would hook that up to your battery, um, plug it in, and then sensor uh, to charge it will um, read the battery for the motorcycle if it gets below a certain point. It charges it up to that point and it cuts off. The, the good part about that one is it's a battery tenor, not a trinkle charger. The battery tenor is good because it doesn't keep it charging, which can drain the battery. So it's a lot better than a trinkle charger. So it uh, basically doesn't let it freeze? It makes sure the battery doesn't die on you. So yeah, because in the winter the battery will die on you, but I guess apparently this keeps it from dying on you. So that being said, let's start some exhaust before and after. So this is stock exhaust. This is what it's going to sound like. And this this is not a cold start by the way you guys so as you can hear pretty quiet uh, stock exhaust is pretty quiet um, I'm just gonna go farther away from it to see if you can still hear from this far probably can't hear from this far but uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you all different sounds from up close When it's idling, it sounds like you can hear the engine more than you can hear the actual exhaust. So hopefully with this new exhaust you can hear it. So go ahead and rev it up. Do it again. I'm going to add some distance so you can see how it sounds from the distance. And now we're gonna do road, road by shot. So yeah, that's what we're basically gonna be working on today is his exhaust. I wanted to bring you guys this video because a lot of you guys are like, stop doing Chinese bikes. So this is for you guys that actually have real motorcycles and actual name brand stuff. Uh, so this is a roll by. Kind of sucks because I don't have a the best lens. I have a wide angle lens, so you can't really see from a distance. I should have switched the lenses out, but we're only here for the audio, anyways. So you guys heard the audio, uh, it's it's not that insanely loud, it's just, honestly it kind of sounds bad because it's not a deep tone or anything like that. The stock exhaust on most of these bikes sucks. So we're gonna swap these out and then we'll show you guys comparison of before and after. But before we do that, he wants to show you guys a little wheelie. Uh, he is still a beginner, he's never practiced on dirt bikes or anything like that. So doing it on a 650 motorcycle, it's gonna be a little difficult but he, he's gonna try to do it for you guys on camera. So you guys saw there, he got it up a little bit, he got it up. I think if he practices on the dirt bikes that don't have as much power and it's not his baby, because again, riding something like this, learning how to do wheelies, you're always scared to drop it. Uh, so if he learns on a cheap dirt bike like the Chinese bikes, which is why I love them because they're good beginner bikes, I think he's got it. All right guys, so we just took off the exhaust, the old exhaust, this is what it looks like. I didn't want to show you guys how to do it on camera because most of you probably don't care. This channel isn't really based off of motorcycles. We're just gonna give you guys an example. So this is the new exhaust that he got. And I'm gonna let him open it up for you guys 
guys and we'll show you and then we're gonna put slap it on which again on video is gonna be like two seconds and then we'll do a sound test but I do want to do a video on this bike let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like a video on this bike this is a Harley 500 uh what is this street he said a uh, street 500 so this is my brother's roommate's bike which maybe I'll buy it off him I'm thinking about buying it off of him it's it's a nice commuter bike for me to get to work and stuff so I'm definitely thinking about buying it listen to the bike though listen to how nice this bike sounds Very nice, very nice. So I do like the bike. I want to buy it off of them. I probably will keep my KTM RC390. I'll just end up having both. I'll have the KTM and that bike as well. That bike will be for going to work and stuff, so I won't put miles on this bike no more, which I'll be happy about. This will just be for like having fun riding around like the area that I live. But with that being said, here's the new exhaust. Um, we're gonna slap it on real quick, and then we'll give you guys a sound test. All right, guys, we just got it installed. It only took probably like, how long did it take? Like an hour, honestly. Yeah, get the dog. Well, an hour and a half. It took only an hour and a half because we couldn't find the tools. But if we had all the tools ready, it'd be an hour. Yeah, it'd be 45 minutes. So here's the new exhaust on it. We'll do a sound test here in a second. But I think it looks good. It just sticks out a little bit too much. Um, so if he drops the bike, the exhaust is definitely going to get dinked up. I think it looks good. We're going to do a sound test here in a second. <laughs> But you can already, you can still hear the difference. I'll compare the audios and stuff. Now again, this microphone's not the best microphone in the world. So you can't really hear it, but it definitely has a deeper tone to it already. I love it. I might put the silencer on to see how it sounds because I live in a neighborhood with people and older older people So I kind of want to like be respectful of them, but I think it sounds way better. All right. Oh, now we got to do a drive-by Drive-by? Huh? Wait, <laughs> what the heck? Ride. Where's your bike? Huh? Everyone lady, wants to know huh? where's your 250? That's right there I love when it backfires, man. All right, now we're gonna take it so he's going a little bit faster over on these roads. Just like last time, it's kind of windy out, so I'm hoping that the wind doesn't get picked up on camera. But here, you guys will hear it. It's definitely a lot louder. You can definitely hear the, the difference. I think it sounds good. It was, I think, a, I think he said it was a, I forget the price, it was anywhere from five to $900. So it was a pretty expensive, I think it was 850. So he's gonna come by one more time and we're gonna hear it. I think it sounds so much better. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Uh, and then maybe I'll ride it one day. But after this, we're all gonna go get on our bikes, go to the gas station and just go ride for a little bit. Maybe go get food or something. Yeah, my man's on his dirt bike. Let's see where he's about to go ride. We got another rider. This is such a nice day, man. A lot of people are out here riding. 
Now, I don't know how the audio is going to be, honestly, because my mic's not working. I just checked it out. I already know there's going to be a lot of wind noise because we're going to be using this mic on this GoPro rather than my actual external mic. Um, so it's going to suck a little bit. So we'll probably just end up putting music, uh, have music playing instead of, instead of a commentary because the wind's going to be blowing pretty loud. And that's all you guys are going to be able to hear. I want to see the dirt bike. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's tough. I want to ride. He dropped something though. I wonder what fell off. Can't see anything. Eventually, um, and that's what I'll be using for like work and stuff to commute. Like I said, I don't want to put miles on this bike. Um, so if I can uh, get more people to, that ride, come ride with me. So hopefully they can catch up. But this Corolla is just right on my ass. Get it though. 